guys. You're probably wondering why I sound like I've been crying. I I don't know if I sound like I've been crying. <laughs> well, I have been crying. Uh, I recently remembered an event that happened that I'm not particularly fond of. So, I... A bit of backstory. Um, you know, first, uh, before I get into what exactly happened. Um, so, I had this friend named Violet. Violet, if you're watching this, hi, I, I miss you. You're probably not the right Violet. If, if, uh, if, uh, if a Violet is watching this, you're probably not the right Violet, but, hey, you might be. There's, there's a slight chance you might be. <laughs> Um, I was friends with this girl named Violet. I saw her as perfect in every way. Uh, we were basically the yin and yang as I saw us. I was kind of more like Air Sands in a way, and she was more like Ink Sands in a way. <laughs> As you can tell, I was going through my, like, a huge part of my Undertale phase at the time. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, um, <sighs> Violet and I were really good friends, um, I even developed a crush on her. She was just perfect in every way. Again, I've probably already said that, but I don't know. This isn't exactly scripted, so... Um... I even told her that I have a crush on... That I had a crush on her. <laughs> um... So, it was near the end of summer, and, uh... Like, not near the end, like, at, like, before schools closed for summer, I think. Yeah, it was. It, it definitely was. Um, I didn't think I'd see her next school year. So, I kind of told her, hey, I, I love you. And she was like, I love you too. And I was like, no, I love you. I love you as in, I love you. Like, I like like you. I actually think I used the word like. But whatever. And she was like, oh, I do not like you in that way. And I was like, okay. I show you anything. I said, oh, okay. And she was like, I hope we can still be friends. And I said, sure. Yeah, we, we still can be friends. We can still be friends. <laughs> um... Yeah. Um. Um. Uh. Next school year, I was able to s remain friends with her. And such. And. <laughs> yeah. I had her phone number, and I had sent her some pretty inappropriate things a child should never look at. Her parents found out, and I guess told the school, and the school was like, Hey, you can't see her again. We're not gonna allow you to. And I think I broke down sobbing. Because I... You see, I was going through a lot at the time. Not anything family related, but I was getting bullied a lot. And I felt like I... <sighs> I've... At the time, I... I don't know. I I 
I guess I kind of felt like I was alone. I kind of was. I think I only had one or two fans, and I'm pretty sure those fans hated me. Like, example, um, one of my friends, like, I kept asking her if we were still friends because I never had an exactly lasting friendship before. And she would say, yeah, but if you keep asking me, we're not going to be friends anymore. And I felt awful. I was going to lose another friend. And it was going to, again, be my, all my fault. And, yeah. The other one, I don't think he was a good friend. His name is Andre. Yep, I'm basically just name dropping people. I'm just giving everyone names. <laughs> His name was Andre, Andre, yeah. I don't know why I said it, like, I don't know his name, like, I don't remember his name, whatever. Um, he would constantly be like, hey, do this for me, or I won't be your friend anymore. Example, I wasn't even finished with a drawing, and I said... That I wasn't exactly... I said I was working on a drawing, and he was like, may I see it? And I was like, well, it's not exactly done, but I'll show it to you when I'm done with it. And he was like, show it to me now, or I won't be friends with you anymore. And so I was like, okay, okay. As you can tell, I wasn't... I didn't exactly have many friends, and I wanted to keep him as a friend. And that was before I met Violet, so... I think I would have been comfortable not being his friend. Uh, especially since he was one of my past bullies. So, yeah. I'll probably go into that in a different video. Um. So, uh. Yeah, um. Back to the Violet situation. Um. This was affecting me a lot. And the ways it affected me that I see are I started thinking poorly of myself more. I started running out of the class more. I started feeling very aggravated more, I think. And... Sometimes I would just sit outside, and they would be like, come back inside. And I would be like, no, I don't want to. And they would have to force me into the room next door, which I hated being in. It felt peaceful to be out in the open. And whenever I had asked if I could take a break, they would be like, yeah, go next door to take a break. I saw next door as punishment. So I never liked going there because kids who were, like, acting up poorly I would go into the room next door. And I would be like, no, I don't want to. At the time, I didn't see why it was such a problem. All I knew is that it was a problem. But I honestly think it's because I felt like I was being... I felt like I was in trouble for wanting to take a break. And, uh... So, we have this morning run thing, and I was just outside crying. And they would be like, get out of the dirt, like, eventually, but... I had seen Violet running the morning run, and I was like, and I kept calling out her name, and she didn't acknowledge me. She was focused, so I understand that. Yeah, I, I truly understand why she ignored me. It was for a good reason. But I had felt like she had all forgotten all about me already. Her and her cute little stutters. Uh, 
Um, a teacher would say, hey, uh, she showed it to people on the bus, so that's why she can't see you anymore, because you show the things to her. So, I think she was trying to comfort me by lying to me and saying, hey, Violet made the same mistake as you. It's fine. <laughs> Turns out she never did. Turns out Violet never did. And honestly, that makes me kind of happy that she didn't do the same mistake that I did. And honestly, it made me feel worse whenever she was like, hey, don't worry. Violet showed kids on the bus. It made me feel like I got... I myself got violated in trouble because I decided to send this stuff that wasn't age appropriate. And I was getting severely bullied, and I just felt alone. And, uh,. I had therapy, and I don't think it was doing much. Because I eventually had to move schools because of how bad it was getting. How bad my mental state was. And moving schools worked. Apparently, the teacher of the class that I was going to be joining had told the kids, Hey, someone new is coming. And they all got excited. <laughs> And I soon made friends just on, like, uh, the day I was just seeing the school for the first time. <laughs> and I was able to play with them at recess, and it was amazing, really. And, yeah, that's what I remember of the Violet situation uh, as of now. Like, as of right now, um... Yeah, I guess it did have a happy ending, but it's still one of those things that makes me upset thinking back to. So yeah, uh, you probably think that I'm faking this. You have a right to believe that, but I'm not. I really am not. My acting skills can and are terrible. Can be terrible and are terrible. Like, at times. And, like, it's very rare that I actually am a good actor. <laughs> um, so, yeah. What I mean by the bad actor thing is, uh... If I'm recording something as I'm acting... And I know, I'm be like, not even know that I'm being recorded. Like, I don't think my acting comes off good in audio. <laughs> because, yes. Uh, but yeah. This, again, was unscripted. I don't know if I said this earlier. This video was unscripted, so, yeah.